you are welcome to my channel today we'll be solving a question on ellipse construction of ellipse now this time around we're going to use the focus method focus method and we're going to use the same parameter that we used in our last video which is major axis 120 minor axis 80 how do we do it? You can start with a horizontal line. You draw your horizontal line like that. Pick a point. Along this horizontal line, the major axis is 120. So I can put my 60. I'll measure 60 to the right and to the left. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. This is 60. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60 so my major axis is between here and here now my minor axis I will draw a perpendicular line to the major axis perpendicular line to the major axis like this now so along this one now the major the minor axis is 80 so I will measure 40 above and 40 below 10, 20, 30, 40 is here. 10, 20, 30, 40 is here. So I now have my my major axis is between here and here. My minor axis is between here and here. Now the next thing I want to do is to now determine my focal point. My focal point you stay on the center of the major axis and extend it to the end like this that will be half of the major axis which will be 60 so you now take this one move it to the top of the minor axis which is here like this make sure you place it very well on the point like that and you mark arc on the major axis to determine your f1 and f2 so this is F1 and this is F2. Now, the next thing that I want to do is to begin to mark our arcs. Now, the major axis is 120. You can rule a line somewhere and put your let's start let us start from 20. You divide the 120 into two parts, 120 and 100. If you sum up these two, it will give us the major axis, which is 120. Now you can also try 30. What will you add to 30 to give 120? That will be 90. So 30 and 90. Let us try 40. 40 plus 80 will give us 120. So then 50. Then to be with 70. The addition will always give you 120. Try 60 and 60 like that so that that is what we are going to use to construct our ellipse so how do you now do it the first one is 20 and 100 you measure 20 on your compass measure 20 on your compass this is 20 you stay on f1 this point is f1 this point is f1 and this point is f2 so you stay on f1 and mark an arc above like this so you stay very well on f1 mark an arc like this here and mark another one below go to f2 and do the same thing mark an arc here and so you stay very well That. so now we have used 20 you now intersect it with 100 so you measure 100 on your compass this is 100 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 yeah this is 100 now you go to f2 you intersect this f1 here so let us mark an arc somewhere here 
So this is showing that we still need to extend our 20. Let us check this side too. This one is intersecting it. Oh, sorry. We should be on F1. That's a mistake. You put it on F1 and you mark your arc here. This one too needs to be adjusted a little more. So we now go back to 20. Measure our 20 to correct it. This is 20. So you go back to F1. You see, this is our 20 like this. So you come and intersect this arc. Then you intersect this one as well. You come to F2. You intersect this arc and intersect this arc. So this one, they are no more useful. Let us erase them so that it doesn't cause confusion. Now you go to the next one, which is 30 and 90. You measure 30 on your compass. It's 30 like this. You stay on F1. You mark an arc like this. And this is F2, sorry. And like this. You go to F1, do the same thing. Mark an arc like this. And like that. Now, you now intersect it with 90. 90 will be here. Yeah, this is 90. Stay on F1. You intersect this arc here. And intersect this one too. You go to F2. You intersect this. And intersect this. Now the next one is 40. Measure 40 on your compass. This is 40. You go to F2. Mark an arc here, above and below. Go to F1. Arc above and below. So now this is 40. You intersect it with 80. So. You measure 80 on your compass. This is 80. 80. Stay on F1. And this F2. Intersect this. And this. You go to F1. Intersect this. And this. This one is not it's still touching it. Now the next one is 50, 50 and 70, you take 50, this is 50, stay on F2, you mark that here and here, you go to F1, 50, here and here. So, we have used 50, then we intersect it with 70. Measure 70 on your compass. 70. Like this. Come to F1. Intersect this. And this. You go to F2. You intersect this. And this. So, Definitely, then the last one is 60. Definitely, the height here is 60, and here is oh, sorry, yeah, 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 it is 60. Remember, it is radius 60 that we use to make this arc here to here is 60. So, from here to here, you can see these are 60 to be on that point exactly on that point. If you go do the same thing to be on the same point so there's no need to begin to measure that one again if you stay on f1 it will be exactly on that dot stay on this one it will be on that dot so the next thing is to join the point to make it easier for you to avoid error you can just put little dot donut dots 
on the point so that you don't miss when you are tracing your arc just put small dots on all the points yeah so you join with french curve like i told you this french curve is good to do it quadrant by quadrant you can do this quadrant Now you just turn it and do the other quadrant, which is here. Now the second quadrant. Turn it now and do this other side with the same side of the French curve. You can do can draw all the arcs, all the curves. That is that. You turn it again and do the last portion. So that is that. Now, if you are now asked to draw tangent and normal to a point which is 45 degrees from the center of the ellipse all you need to do is to put a t-square on the on it like this and draw 45 degrees put your t-square your t-square on your t-square and draw 45 degrees this is if it is to the right if it is to the left that means you draw you are drawing it like this but let's say it's to the right that's 45 degrees so the point of tangent will be here so what do you do the next step is to connect your f1 to the point of tangent the two points like this and like that so you now bisect the angle that is formed at the point of tangent like this stay here like this and connect with an arc like that so you can now extend it and stay at the first point mark an arc here stay at the second point which is here you mark another arc here so you have been able to bisect the angle so you stay like this and you draw the normal make sure it is thick line that's your normal then you can now draw your tangent at 45 you, you bisect you draw 90 degrees your tangent will be 90 degrees to your normal so you can draw a semicircle here okay it's not staying on it very well now like this yeah we have a semicircle it is intersecting the normal at this point and this point so you stay on the two points and mark arc you send your compass out you mark an arc here go to the other end you mark another arc here so that one will give us 90 so this point now you connect it to the point of tangency which is this place put your square like this and you make it thick like that so that's your tangent and you write it Tangent. So that is the solution of construction of ellipse using the focus method. If you have enjoyed this video, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. We will meet in the next video.